So I've been spending a lot of time in the Wild West lately. Virtually, of course. I mean, in Red Dead Redemption 2, you get to live out your cowboy fantasies without the downside of getting kicked by a horse or catching dysentery. It's like real life, but with more epic mustaches and fewer reasons to shower. In the game, pulling off a bank heist is all about planning, timing, and nerve. In real life, paying bills feels the same way, but with way less excitement. Instead of riding off into the sunset with bags of gold, we get an email confirming our electricity bill was paid. Woohoo! Living the dream! In Red Dead, you spend hours tracking the perfect buck, waiting for the right moment to strike. Meanwhile, in real life, I'm in the grocery store trying to find a ripe avocado, which is somehow just as elusive. Both situations end with me carrying something home. But only one of them involves a price tag that makes me question my life choices. Arthur Morgan sits by the campfire sharing stories with his gang, bonding over the day's adventures. Meanwhile, I'm over here struggling to keep up with a group text where 99% of the messages are just memes and someone asking, Who's up for brunch this weekend? Maybe I need to bring s'mores to these conversations to make them more engaging. Riding a horse through the beautiful landscapes of the game feels so freeing, like you could go anywhere, do anything. Compare that to sitting in traffic during my morning commute, where I'm lucky if I move five feet in ten minutes. Honestly, if my car could neigh and run off-road, my life would be at least 30% better. In Red Dead, you get a bounty on your head if you bump into someone or, you know, rob a train. In real life, I feel like I've got a wanted level in my email inbox, where every unread message is just another bounty waiting to take me down. And just like in the game, the more I ignore it, the worse it gets. In Red Dead, you find a treasure map, follow the clues, and end up with gold. In real life, I get an IKEA instruction manual, follow the clues, and end up with a coffee table that somehow both wobbly and missing a leg. Where's my buried treasure? Oh right, it's the Allen wrench I'll never use again. Arthur's out there chugging health tonics to get through the day. And here I am, downing my third cup of coffee just to survive a Monday morning meeting. We both get a temporary boost, but only one of us has to deal with the aftermath of caffeine jitters and questionable life choices at 2 p.m. In the game, fishing is this peaceful activity where you can just chill and enjoy nature. In real life, Fishing for compliments is the closest I get to that kind of tranquility. 
Sure, I'm not catching any fish, but I'm reeling in those sweet, sweet likes, or at least trying to. Red Dead's honor system keeps track of whether you're a good guy or a villain, which honestly, I wish existed in customer service. I'd love it if every time I return something without a receipt, I got a little notification like honor decreased, store clerk pissed. At least then, I'd know where I stand. In the game, bounty hunters track you down relentlessly if you have a bounty on your head. In real life, telemarketers have that same energy. They find you no matter what. Change your number, block their calls, move to a different time zone, they will find you. If only I could pay off my phone bill with gold bars. So whether you're trying to survive the Wild West, or just make it through the work week, remember, life's a lot like Red Dead Redemption too. It's full of challenges, ridiculous situations, and the occasional need to flee from someone trying to take your hard-earned cash. Just make sure to save your progress, and maybe, just maybe, keep an eye out for any metaphorical bears in your path.